Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Frisbee of Shade. We're going to talk about Hermes in the Fashion Bunker today. My name is Jacob and this <laughs> is the Shade Bunker. So, we're going to be talking Hermes and we're going to be talking Apple. I coincidentally have a little product here from Apple that I use. A little uh, iPad mini, by the way. Hashtag not sponsored. But Apple and Hermes. Hmm... It's a mess, uh, in particular right now, as Apple seems to be stopping the sale of a leather uh, iWatch. What are they called? Smart watches, iWatches. I really, I never wear watches, wristwatches. So anyway, the iWatch, I guess, smart watches. What are they called? Well, you know that they had a collaboration. Hermes would make the wristbands and leather more or less bougie super sophisticated looking, you know, Hermes leathers are deemed worldwide one of the best leathers ever. Um, Apple watches. Thank you, Linda. By the way, this video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. I live stream several times a week. So come join the live chats and my coach chatters just helped me out here. Apple watch. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> And uh, you might see different categories in price, the Apple Watch, which series of Apple Watch it is, like, is it the newest model, extra pimped up model, less pimped up model, and then you get to choose basically what sort of wristbands you want to wear, you want to purchase with your watch. Do you want them to be out of rubber, caoutchouc, leather, leather, what have you? And one of the biggest luxurious collaborations that Apple used to do uh, was with Hermes, and Hermes would deliver that particular, you know, here you go, some pitches, check this out, you know. It started off really the first year that they did this a couple of years ago. It was just a simple wristband and leather, yada, yada. And then they started expanding and making them more complicated and more special. I know that some of you have been saying in the chats that the fingers of this model look like alien fingers because they're very, very long. I mean, look how skinny the shadow is of this arm. <laughs> anyway, let me shift to the hat. Um, well, anyway, we'll go, we'll go. Uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but now, apparently and allegedly, and everything I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only, not rooted in truths or facts. Everything's alleged and just my opinion. Allegedly... Apple says we're no longer going to sell Hermes leather wristbands on our website. Now, uh, why they're doing this? So Apple apparently states that they are moving towards a fully sustainable economy for for their own brand. Uh, they uh, are committed, so they say, by 2030 to be completely carbon free emission wise from their products by 2030 they have committed to that let's see if they have managed to, to get there and so one of the issues is apparently that leather does not fall under what they want to focus on when it comes to sustainability because they do not find it really sustainable so this is really interesting because you know as i was reading these uh, this news um i was thinking to myself you know, we're talking Apple here, you guys, uh, and Apple has this sneaky way. Uh, here's another example of uh, an Hermes complicated buckle structure for the little leather, little belt thingy wristband to go with the watch. You see, I mean, you know, I can, it's just at this point, it's ridiculous how complex this is. It's, it's really, I really, to me, it's a joke. But anyway, I know some people love watches, so. We'll go, we'll go. If you love them, you love them. But, you know, when it comes to Apple, I mean, Apple is the brand that delivers to us. Well, now they apparently stop, but I still have to purchase a new product to see. But, you know, they deliver the recharge, the, the cables that come with an iPad or the cables that come with your um, laptop, like your MacBook Pro or your MacBook Air. They used to all have that plastic cable that you attach for it to charge. And what happens with that rubbery material, it degrades with time. The soft makers and the plastic degrade and it just pops open and breaks. It always happens. Super easy fix. Apple for years and years and years did not want to fix that, making you have to buy 
a new cable every couple of months when yours breaks. And it's a lot of money. They earn a lot of money through those cables. So Apple is sketchy, in my humble opinion. What they do is super sketchy. Isn't it also weird that like my product, like an app, your iPhone or your uh, iPad, they function super fast when they're brand new when you buy them. And then the second the new generation comes out, yours slows down all of a sudden, starts glitching. And then after a couple of years, Apple says, iOS cannot really be updated on your machine anymore, even though the machine is fully operational and functional. Like it's really shady stuff. So honest, I'm sorry, Apple. I love your design. I love the aesthetic and I love how iOS is relatively easy to use, but I don't trust you with nothing personally, okay? I trust MS more than I trust Apple, just saying. So I was thinking to myself, Apple, for example, also has a deal with YouTube. And hi, welcome on YouTube, by the way. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, push that subscription button and push the join button next to the subscription button. Become a member today and access extra perks. Thumb up this video and you can also join me on Patreon. Super Deco all spelled together there as well for extra perks. Thank you to our members and patrons who have already pledged. Um, you know how when you, for example, send a super chat or any form of donation through to your favorite YouTubers out there, um, if you are sending a super chat or a tip through an Apple device, well, Apple wants a, a cut of that cake. So then YouTube basically gives you less. Isn't it interesting? This is why I always say, like, if you're sending, like, uh, any form of super chat or super thanks, if you're sending it through an Apple device, like, the percentages vary. So usually it's, like, uh, the content creator, I think, depending which country you're in, gets 45%. But you get even less percentage if the person sending that uh, super thanks is sending it through an Apple device. Because Apple and um, and, and YouTube um, clashing. Same applies to memberships. If you want to become a member of your favorite YouTuber and you join and become a member through an Apple device, Apple will take more money. So the content creator will earn less. I mean, Apple is the worst when it comes to just my humble opinion. Uh, they are greedy, like no, nobody else. And I don't like their whole, you know, talking about sustainability and let's create this gorgeous planet for everybody to live in. It's giving me major, like I, I sold my soul to the company store vibes where we're all going to end up living in these little villages and pods and nobody's going to own anything, but the company will own us. Vibes. I'm looking at Chad yeah, George Orwell, uh, 1984, read the book. But that's all neither here nor there. I thought to myself, it's just a money issue. I'm just speculating here. And I thought to myself, maybe Apple just wants more money for selling every piece. Because the way I see this, it's a collaboration. Whenever Apple sells one of these Hermes versions of their watches, Hermes gets a cut. And Apple gets a cut. Maybe Apple wants more money, <laughs> you know? Because officially, they're saying we're parting ways from Hermes. We're not selling Hermes uh straps on our website anymore because it's not sustainable period but at the same time what is Hermes doing Hermes is still selling the leather um straps on their website and in their stores so this means that Hermes is still has still decided to keep producing these products for the Apple watches and which means that for every sale they make, they have to give a percentage to Apple promoting Apple in Hermes boutiques, basically while doing so while at the same time, Apple does not counter the promotion does not promote Hermes back because they will not be selling Hermes products on their website. Now, if you look at the photo that I showed you before, if we go back one step, it's not like Hermes only does leather. They also did, here, recyclable materials. There's the Hermes logo. So that excuse of like Hermes not being so sustainable for Apple standards, um, yeah, no, no. Because they were not just doing leather. They were also doing plastics, 
recyclable plastics for that matter, probably. You know what I mean? So there's more to this story, I personally believe, than what the media is reporting. No, you know me. I, just, I don't trust the media anymore. And I say this all the time. And I don't trust the news either and television. And some of you come for me and say, oh, no, no, don't say that. That's not true. Girl, <laughs> I would love to trust the media and the news outlets, but I've just been burned way too many times for me to just trust that there's way too many interests in the back running around and you don't know who's paid by who and whose interests are important to who and which sponsor wants what. So no. And when I read the, the news about Apple cutting ways with Hermes just because of sustainability, I'm like, never. In a million years would I believe that the reason is just sustainability. I'm sorry. Like, try to sell, sell, that, sell that story to somebody else. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Um, and like I said, if you want to keep buying the Hermes wristbands, yeah, just go to Hermes. They're still selling them. Just Apple won't be selling them anymore. Allegedly. Let me know your thoughts and prayers down below. And until next time, don't forget to forgive a pun love. Bye. What?